Over the years, games have boasted all sorts of new and innovative features. Many of these have pushed the envelope and even evolved whole genres or created entirely new ones. What we'll be talking about today though is one of those gaming aspects that's probably the most important of them all, and that is being able to interact with your furry companions. I'm Asjinko and this is my list of top 5 games where you get to pet the animals. The farm, build and romance em up genre of games has raked in a number of truly memorable titles over the last few years. Stardew Valley is the obvious big hitter that comes to mind here, but the other crowd pleaser that I'd like to talk about today is my time at Porsche. Pathia Games had put out a banger of a title back in 2019 that was certainly not short on tasks for you to take a crack at. Getting your farm in order takes up a large chunk of your playtime. Then there are also the townsfolk that will keep you busy with all sorts of missions and favors as well as hangout requests. Sure all of this stuff is important, but we have to admit, this is not what we're all here for. Any true Porsche knows that the most important part of the day revolves around the animals. From the moment I wake up, I run straight to the fluffy kids, even before I greet my spouse. It's alright though, she wouldn't have it any other way. From the ever cuddly kitty pinky, to the lovable stray pooch scraps. They'll find a place in your home, but that sure isn't the limit of the potential animal friends. Why not befriend a llama who always enjoys a thorough scratch after a nice long ride as your faithful steed? Take a trip into town where you'll find the happy porker QQ who is just as happy to get some friendly attention, although no petting options here though. Not to worry, you still have a whole farm of animals waiting for you. Sure, these aren't truly really pets in the normal sense, but hey, no one will judge you if you'd like to show a few cows and chickens that you do care. Even the ducks won't mind some affection. If that's not enough animal playtime for your taste, why not run on over to the farm next door and go visit the animals over there? I'm sure your neighbor wouldn't mind if you go do whatever this is. Okay, maybe that's not the best of ideas, so scratch that plan. My time at Porsche is simply brimming with animals for you to hang out with. These fluffy, feathered and in some cases chunky companions are what will make you come back for more as they're sheer to melt your heart. It sure is a grim dark world out there. The lands have been tainted and its inhabitants have fallen into madness. No wonder the affliction they're trying to push back is known as the weirdness. The stuff you'll see around here is pretty strange to say the least. Facing off against all this adversity seems rather morbid and would leave any person with a bleak outlook on life. Not to fear though, as you'll find a refuge to spend your time between trips into the wilds. Luckily, lots of townsfolk will find their way to this haven as well, looking for shelter from the harshness of the world. It's a place to build up and you might even be able to call it home. Throughout all your acts of perseverance, you might still find an emptiness in your heart. What in this lonesome, ghastly world could ever fill this void? None other than a loyal wolf companion at your side, of course. Now coming from a grimdark world though, it might prove a little complicated getting there. Out exploring the world, you come across a bevy of interesting characters, many of whom will need saving. One such individual is one you only know as the Seeking Traveler. You'll find he's out and about looking for someone, and with the help of a mysterious witch, things become a little bit clearer. The Traveler is actually a wolf looking for its master, but had been twisted by the weirdness to take on the form of this poor drifter. I did say things get pretty strange in this game, but the good news is you've now gained the loyalty of a faithful canine companion. You can call Woolsey to your side during battles. Naturally, you'll be able to pet him. It's even the name of the card, and like it says, it's impossible to resist. The more you pet him, the better he fights. So that's a pretty good lesson right there for any aspiring ranger. Keep your companions happy, and they'll make your enemies beg for mercy. Just don't forget when the fighting is done, show old Woolsey some TLC during those quieter moments in town. He'll love it like any good boy does. Now if only I can find a way to pet my trusty golems. Sadly on this one, I can only dream. As any self-respecting person would tell you, a good day starts with a great cup of coffee or a nice pot of tea if that is more to your liking 
all the while enjoying the most important meal of the day. What's better than sharing these daily moments with a happy animal companion at your side? Now somewhere along the lines, an absolute champion of a person had the most brilliant idea of wrapping these two things into one neat package. Starting a new business is not an easy task though. First, you'll need to get yourself a nice little plot of land to develop your brand new bustling enterprise. Develop your very own cozy little spot to set up shop with everything you'll need to get started. Get the place ready to keep your clientele happy. Then all you need to do is let the true stars of the show come to you. The quickest way to a kitty's heart is a welcoming bowl of food. Set out some chosen grub, wait for the strays to show up and watch them happily chow down. Along with a nice pat on the head to show them that you really do care. Soon enough these kitties will join your little cafe to warm up the place and bring a smile to everyone's day. You will see a wide variety of folk pass through your establishment from all walks of life. From fisher folk to witches, and can even range from business bros to hardcore punks. These varied individuals share two things in common. Having a good snack and drink alongside your playfully adorable kiddos. Can life ever get better than this? When it comes to the tiny denizens of your cafe, you'll obviously want to make sure life is perfect. Some cozy beds to lounge around on, lots of toys and scratching posts to keep those tiny little hunters keen and ready. Also, don't forget to put out some litter boxes. Going into town and keeping everyone satisfied is the key to success. The little ones will always be playful, so don't forget to have your staff ready to fulfill every kitty's needs. My favorite part of the game is when I just stand back and watch the many and often exotic cats just mosey about and interact with your clients. Honestly, how can life possibly get better than this? As gamers, we sure love to answer the call to adventure. It's the most glorious life one could imagine. Venturing out into an unjust world, gathering up a crew of like-minded people who are just as eager to lay down some righteous fury onto whatever evil rears its ugly toothy grin. The best part is just how diverse a group can get sometimes, from elves and dwarves to some really unique and at times very outlandish individuals. When I delved into Dragon Age Origins though, I didn't expect to be in for a very pleasant surprise. It is well documented that dog is man's best friend. Well then, I'd say I found the pooch that would be an adventuring company's most awesomest party member. As I started off as a noble gent, I set out to become the best Grey Warden I could be. The horrible passing of my parents stung deeply, but it's not all doom and gloom though as my lifelong Mabari companion was ever steadfast at my side. Wherever I go, whatever dangers I choose to leap into, he'd always be there to lend a capable paw. This year fellow is certainly no slouch, mind you. Such a good boy is far more than just a pet there to throw out a few extra points of damage. He is a whole full-fledged party member with an entire skill tree, and that includes some pretty awesome abilities to boot. You'll even find an inventory with some swanky war paints and colors to make your warhound that much more effective. Just as with any efficient crew, taking downtime is important, especially to get to know them better. Why would you not want to kindle some tender moments with your favorite pals? This is also the perfect time to strengthen your bond with your lifelong canine friend, and you might just find the rest of your group mingling with the goodest boy ever. You ate my entire bag of herbs, you foolish dog. Do not think I am unaware of where it went. The banter is amazing and I'm so glad you get to experience some A great interactions here. So whenever you get the time, give your boy a delicious snack, give him a nice scratch, and when the dark spawn hits the fan, sit back and watch him tear into your foes. There are few things worse than losing your head. I don't mean your mind, I mean having your head go missing from your body. There's all that trouble of getting a new one and starting over fresh. It can be a real pain in the neck. Well, if this is an actual problem to you, then you're living a far more interesting life than me. And you're probably the prisoner from dead cells. As if amnesia is not enough of a headache to deal with, you'll have to battle your way through hordes of challenging foes. 
this lot won't play around as they're sheared to time and again succeed in re-removing your head from your body. This can put a damper on anyone's day. What is there to do about it though? Slay more foes, keep walking a path paved in vengeful destruction. It's a road to madness I say and there has to be a better way. By this time, if you've been paying attention to this list, you probably know where I'm going with this. Obviously the only road to happiness lies in a faithful animal companion. What to get though? A reliable pooch? A rambunctious kitty? None of these scream dead cells to me, so we're going to need to go a bit stranger than that. Well then, why not get yourself a little mushroom boy? As small as he is and as large as the foes can get, this little one is never afraid to jump right into the action. If that's not weird enough for you, why not grab yourself a leg hugger? What is that you may ask? Well, it's an eyeball covered in tentacles of course. These friendly limb grabbers are the most adorable friends a headless bloke could ask for. And given enough time, they might even evolve into a larger and even more awesomer version that's sure to scare the scales of any monster you'll be facing. When you find some room for downtime, don't forget to give these trusty critters of yours a nice pat on the head to keep them happy. Since this is Dead Cells, you can't be a jerk and violate your very soul. But what can I say? You are a headless prisoner, so maybe it means you did actually lose your mind after all. That brings us to the end of this list of 5 games where you can and should pet your animal companions. This is just a fun little addition to games that as an animal lover I thoroughly enjoy to encounter. These are just my picks though. What games do you enjoy interacting with the animals or are there some fun little additions in games that just brightens your day? Comment down below and let us know your favorite little moments in games. Like the video to show the channel your support and subscribe for more top 5 videos and recommendations of old school retro games worth playing. Go on and have yourselves an awesome day. Thank you for watching, keep on gaming and I'll see you in the next one.